Welcome to Stockholm, the capital of Sweden. With its population of over 975,000 people, makes Stockholm the biggest city in Scandinavia. The capital is known for its iconic city hall, the world's biggest hemispherical building, Avicii Arena, the old town Gamla Stad, the amusement park Gröna Lund, and so on. But one thing that makes Stockholm so unique is the metro system that is located just below the streets of the city. Today, we will talk about what you can do, how you can travel around, and of course, a bit about the art in Stockholm Metro. The metro, or what's called Tunnelbanan, was opened in 1950 and was then trafficking the Green Line between Slussen and Hökaringen. Today, the metro system is divided into three main lines. The green, the red and the blue line with exactly 100 stations. However, the metro will be expanded with 12 new stations and two brand new lines which will be completed in 2030. So, what can you do in the Stockholm metro? Travel, of course but also explore the beautiful art of each station. A single ticket costs only $4.21, which will give you access to the public transportation around Stockholm. This includes the bus, the light rail, the boat, the commuter rail, and of course, the metro. All of them are owned by SL, but the metro and the commuter trains are operated by the Hong Kong company MTR. There are three types of trains that are currently running in the metro. The oldest one, also called the CX, the C20, and the C30. With the metro, you can travel from the suburbs outside Stockholm through the city to the industrial area. A good example is the red line where you can travel from the poor regions to the rich regions. One example is Norsborg and Östermalmstorg, where Norsborg is crowded with apartments and stores, but crime is often seen there. Meanwhile in Östermalmstorg, where Stureplan is located, is filled with fancy stores and luxury of everything you can imagine. one thing that makes the metro unique is the art. The art can be seen in all 100 stations on the 110 km long metro system, decorated from different artists with their own style. From the non-violent sculpture to a station filled with arcade theme, there is always something new for visitors to explore while traveling around Stockholm. The first art in the metro was introduced on Tiesentralen in 1957. At that time, the central station and Hammarbyhöjden were the only metro stations to be filled with art. All 1950 stations that are located underground was built with a method called cut and cover. This means that the streets are dug up, then a concrete tunnel complete with tracks, platforms and more is installed, and finally the whole thing is filled again. While nearly 900,000 people travels with the metro each day, there is actually one station that have been abandoned since it was being built. And that is Schimlinge, a station on the blue line that was being built at the end of the 1960s as a part of the Hansta project. But when it was decided to place central authorities in other locations in Sweden, 
the Hansa project failed. Today, the station is quietly empty with trains passing the station. However, according to a legend, there is a train that only stops at the station one time per year, which is called Silverpilen, also known as the C5, a silver aluminium prototype train that was used in a metro for 30 years before it was scrapped. According to an urban legend, the train only picks up dead souls where the lady goes off at the Stockholm metro is so unique. And that ends this week's episode of Visit Stockholm. In the next episode, we will take a deeper look at the cultural activities Stockholm has to offer. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.